Hello everyone, this is Brandon Prime, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mission Anti-Pollution. So last episode, we took down one of the outposts of the pollution chimneys, and we discovered this place and these places, but we've already explored this last episode. So this episode, what I want to do is explore that place. This is a, this is kind of creepy but exciting. So, this is a definitely. Why does all these buildings always have to be abandoned? Genetics lab. Genetics lab. Oh my. Pamela Robin's sleeping quarters. Okay. So, sh sh guessing she used to work here or something. What's this say? Uh, staff room. Jeez. Tell you what, they, they do have an obsession with warped planks and stuff, don't they? Right, what's this? Brandon... No. No. Don't, don't you... No. That's impossible. No. No, 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 no. That can't be. Is there anything in here? A book. Oh my god. Right. Dear Diary, the samples of mycelium will be complete soon. Soon, the entire multiverse will be under my power. The only sad thing is that Pamela wishes to remain behind and finish off this world. Her determination to destroy this world will be great for her in the future. Recently, I discovered an artifact with a great power and it contains the power of Primus, a god of creation. I shall attempt to take it for myself and do whatever it takes. Two days later, I returned to the temple where the Matrix was and take it, but when I got there, the whole place was empty. No one was around. That foolish Prime called Optimus was nowhere to be found. I made my way into the temple and climbed all those stairs. Damn, that was exhausting. I hate stairs. When I reached the top, the matrix of leadership was gone. All that was there was a note from Prime. He had taken the matrix into the multiverse to keep it safe from harm, to keep it away from me. I will have to tell Pamela I will be leaving this universe to find the matrix and use its power and create a clone army to take over the multiverse forever. <laughs> oh my god. So, he was in this world a long time ago then. It will explain the blood fucking quarters. So that, that temple up there, that temple is... The Temple of Primus, the Matrix. No wonder I felt it familiar. The Matrix is within me, so it it obviously has a connection to this place. Jeez. Right, let's go upstairs and find out. He said mycelium. Whoa. Wait, hold on. What's that? This is skulk sample. Are they nuts? Why do they want skulk? Uh, oh my god. First block of mycelium. Oh my god. Why keep the fucking samples in there? Well, I guess it's to keep them safe. What? So, that first block, did they genetically engineer the mycelium then? There's a chest here. Let's take a look. Sample log by Pamela Robinson. Oh my. The mycelium seems to be growing well. We may finally be able to corrupt the Empire multiverse with this and control every universe to our will. A sample of Skulk was recovered from the ancient city. The origin is of this sample is not clear yet, but it is just like the mycelium we created. Its power is way too unpredictable. It must not be used, we learned. I will now go and meet my lab partner to help start his cloning dream and his first clone will hopefully be a success. After we have achieved our goal, he will leave this universe and travel the multiverse and find that 
fool Optimus Prime and take the matrix of leadership. I will stay in this universe and force the people here to mine coal to burn so I can power my new empire. Oh my god, this woman is fucking insane. She was partners with Brandon Everett. Oh my god, so they both engineered the mycelium. So that's so fucking clear why it's spread throughout the multiverse. Because he's taken other samples from that original one. And are they fucking insane for taking this from the ancient city? Do they want it to spread everywhere? I'll check out the temple last. The temple of Primus. What is this? Tea shop. There's a tea shop here? Looks very Japanese-y, doesn't it? Looks really cool, though. Wow, this place is definitely destroyed. Nothing here. <laughs> Those turtle eggs on the table. What's up here? What the? Nothing. It's just literally just a tea shop. Jeez, this place definitely has been destroyed, like, a lot. There's literally all the buildings are, like, either almost gone or destroyed. There. And there's literally, that looks like a shrine, like a, a Japanese style shrine over there with like an abandoned clock tower as well. Let's go over there and explore it. Right. There's, li there's literally no way into this thing. It just must be for decoration or something. Like, yeah, it's completely like covered in vines. Let's go over here and take a look. What's in here? Oh my! Really is a cool looking place. There's another book. Okay. Abandoned. Day one. The power plant started burning more fossil fuels excessively. The fumes are spreading more and more to our buildings and houses. Crops are becoming more difficult to grow. Day two. People started getting sick from the fumes. The children got it the worst. We lost a lot of people today. Water dried up as well, so now the crop supply is dwindling. Day 3. We sent some villagers underground to find some habitable space. They never came back, which worries me. Did they die from the illness caused by the fumes? Or is there something else down there? Day 4. There isn't many of us left now. We've used up all of our crop supply and we have no other ways of getting food. All of our natural resources, such as stone and iron, have been used up so we are unable to kill any passing farm animals for food. Day 6. Dead. They're all gone. This village is inhabitable now. The land can't grow any more crops due to the radiation from the power plant. Day 7. I don't have long left. I can feel it. The illness from the fumes has killed my entire community. There's a cliff nearby. I'll go out on my own terms. If for some reason anybody finds this Please destroy that factory and kill the people who own it for my family, for me, Jeffrey. Jesus Christ. Poor Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey, I'm guessing he's gone because no one is here. So, he must have gone the dark way out then. Right. I think that's enough for this episode. Right. So, everyone, we found out a shocking discovery this episode about my... Foe, Brandon Everett. I've not actually pro- Well. We found out- We found out a lot about Brandon Everett. Who is apparently the original me. Because apparently- He- He, he said there was a first clone. And I'm guessing- I'm guessing I'm the first clone. It turns out this Pamela Robinson was, uh, former partners with Brandon Everett. Now, that is more shocking than ever. We found out that that temple on top of the hill is actually the Temple of Primus. No wonder the Matrix was telling me. 20 minutes later. Who's that? Who are you? Delivery for Pamela Robinson. For me? Thank you, delivery man. But now you must die. 
What is this? Dear Pamela, by Brandon Prime? Dear Pamela, my name is Brandon Prime. I am a clone made by your former partner, Brandon Everett. I was sent to this world to stop you and your polluting. I got rid of one of your chimneys that you have built. I wanted to send the materials of it back to you since they are your resources. But this will be my only warning to you. Stop now or it's war. A clone, hey? <laughs> a simple clone thinks he can start a war? He wants one? Then a war he shall get. This is Optimus Prime saying, click the like button, then subscribe to Brandon Prime, and then click that little bell. Have a good day, and don't forget to stay primed.